Hi, this is Shift Your Life today with Glenn Ryan, who we've run into at the water conference in Bulgaria. We'd love to know a little bit about you and a little bit about your thoughts about consciousness and why it's important for us to address it. Yes, well, that's an interesting question, and it's too bad it's not really covered in this conference <laughs> because this is a conference about you know hard scientists studying structuring of water. But uh, I have done a lot of research, actually, with water and consciousness, how conscious intention can change the properties of water. And the fact that when you put your intention into water, you can actually store that information and then add that water to, say, cells and tissue culture and produce a biological effect. I've done this, for example, with uh, human lymphocytes grown in tissue culture. Uh, in my lab and demonstrated that when healers directly affect these uh, immune cells grown in a petri dish, you can stimulate the growth of these cells. Okay, that's not surprising. Well, maybe it is, but not to me. <laughs> and probably not to a lot of people in the audience. But the fact that you can do the same experiment and people can focus their intention on the water and then add the water to the petri dish is quite, to me, quite fascinating. And what's, what's interesting is the fact that the magnitude of the effect is similar, whether it's a direct effect of the healers on the cells or an indirect effect via the water. So that means that the water is storing the information, most of the information, not 100%, a little bit's lost, I mean, you know, it goes out into the cosmos, uh, and, and then we have very similar effects. So we're storing it not only in water in a petri dish, but also in the in water our, in yeah, our own bodies. Yeah, exactly. And what effect is that having on us if we can transform our own consciousness so that we don't maybe even have to go to a healer once you begin to sort of change your own view? Yeah, well, I'm uh, a good example of that because I was doing an experiment one day and the healer didn't show up and everything was all set up and I said, well, I guess I'll just have to do it myself because I wanted some kind of you know, conscious intention. <laughs> so I said, okay, I'll just do it myself. And lo and behold, I was able to do the do it, maybe not as strong as a, as a powerful healer. Yeah, it's part of the mindset that I've had all along that uh, as a scientist, like, oh, I need someone who has a special ability to emit energy, <laughs> like a Qigong master or something, right. right? But in fact, you know, people can do it themselves. And I've demonstrated that now actually when I used to work at the Institute of Heart Math with ordinary people. In this case, we weren't looking at lymphocytes and immune cells. We were looking at DNA as the target. And we did the experiments with the ordinary folks there who practiced their version of meditation. And they were able to do the same, uh, same kind of thing. In this case, changing the winding and unwinding of the two strands that make up the DNA. So it's a very important yeah. observation that, we, we, yeah, we can, of course, yes, there is water in the body, but there are also cells in the body and yes. DNA in the body. So you don't really need to store the information. You think and focus your intention on something or some part of your body that's not well, and the energy goes straight there. And apparently one, one of the antenna, the natural antennas in the body is DNA, which will respond to the energy and I mean I have this whole theory about how exactly that works but we probably don't have time to get into that but uh, yes it's we can do that in the next video just let, giving a little introduction to yourself because Glenn Ryan we know you as one of the top well one of the leading researchers in the world one of the most profound scientists in the scientific community well, thank you, thank you has introduced that. us to you in, in that uh, fashion so well my background is in uh, biochemistry. I have a PhD from the University of London. Uh, actually, my, my uh, history went, my sequence of events in academia started with chemistry to biochemistry to neurochemistry. Because, you know, who's interested in the chemistry of the liver, you know? <laughs> you know? So uh, I said, okay, we're going to do biochemistry. And then, then I realized uh, uh, chemistry in the brain was kind of where it was at <laughs> and that the brain was very important. And then after working at HeartMath, I realized the uh, the energy of the heart is where it's all at. <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, I kind of made that transition and 
Then I had a job for many years uh, at Estee Lauder, working at developing new products, energy-based products, and uh, that uh, lasted for you know, uh, 14 years. It was a great experience, corporate America. So now when I do experiments, I'm not, I mean, I'm interested in basic science, but the practical applications of the work has now become much more a, a, a focus of my intention because of the corporate experience. Right. And so now I'm working a lot with water, partly because the beauty of water is they can store the information. You've got it in a bottle and then you can drink it or give it to your plants or whatever uh, up to a year later, you know, uh, as we've discovered at this conference. Right, so if someone wants to reach you to do some research, how would they get in touch with you? Yeah, I do have a lab. I do do contract research. And my uh, company is called Innovative Biophysical Technologies. And for short, it's I N N O B I O T E C K dot com. I could not get T E C H, so, <laughs> uh, so we're stuck with T E C K. But I have a website which explains the kind of uh, services that I've done. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Thank the you. Shift Doctors at shiftyourlife.com. Thank you.